one of the things would be relevance, relevance to their lives, relevance to their, their stage of development, relevance to their interests. So that the examples, the types of examples that you use um, would be examples that they can relate to. The types of um, assignments that you give would be not your tried and true old essay with the topic that you know, they can go on a website and find, but something that engages them to go and ask questions, to do inquiry, to, to something that, that appeals to them, something in their community, for example, um, something that, that gives them the, the impetus and the, the, the motivation to stick with it, no matter how hard it is because at the end of it is some reward for them. They really want to know this thing. I try to make sure that all the assignments that I have are fun on some level. It keeps them engaged, keeps them working. Um, the gamification helps out. Uh, the third year course, I require now that the project always has some sort of a com community engaged scholarship or community engagement component to it so that the students are actually working with a real client. They're not just building something for me that's gonna be you know, here's your marks and no one really cares what you've just built because it's just for an assignment. Uh, when the students are engaged by the community, they know that they're building something that might make a difference in someone's life. They're far more motivated to show up. Uh, and it's been, the, the difference in the classes where I've had some sort of motivational factor involved versus the classes where I don't, the attendance rates are vastly different. We're talking like 50% of the class showing up versus 97% of the class showing up that they are motivated to the extent that this course is either a choice or a must and that that's going to impact the way that they work in the course and the meaning that they take from the course. Um, I, try, I try to work on meaningful learning. I try not to give them irrelevant information. I try to make it, I try to connect it as much as possible to the lives that they're living which I try to connect to the Get Acquainted activity. So I build in enough latitude in the course that the questions that I want to ask and the activities that I want to do, I can massage it if necessary to the lives that they're leading. For me, a big part of motivation, you might think it's related to the, the teaching component, and I'm sure it is, but from a measurement perspective, I think there's an incredibly powerful role uh, that um, developing relevant assessments can have on motivation. I think the one thing that we do see is that when we're asking students in the context of assessment to, to get into something that is closer to what happens to the world that they're going to, that they get a lot, a lot more excited. And in that process, so the richness of assessment is actually the vehicle that increases motivation in the classroom. Assessments, if they're inspired in their design, and in the way that they are executed and in the kinds of learning that they allow students to, to engage in, whether it be on an individual level, within group settings, in the classroom or outside of the classroom, those kinds of inspired designs of assessments actually motivate students to participate and to, and to succeed. At that point, they are, there's a certain level of not just extrinsic motivation, but intrinsic motivation. You have to consider what motivates students and one of the challenges is grades motivate students um, and you have to be frank about that that what you need to do as an instructor is signal which parts of the course you really want them to focus on by how you distribute the grades. There are many things we can do uh, to improve motivation of students in the class. Uh, for example we can try to um, implement uh, John Keller's motivational model um, Keller based this model on years of research in psychology and uh, on the topic of motivation. And he came up with a list of four categories that we should think of and apply in the design of uh, instructional activities. And these four categories are attention, relevance, confidence or challenge, and satisfaction or success. Since this model was designed, uh, it has been successfully uh, tested and implemented in many different environments, and many uh, strategies were designed to put this model from, from theory to practice. Uh, I certainly use this model when I design courses, and it is something I would suggest anyone who is interested in um, 
motivational state of students in, in the course to uh, look further into and to try to implement in, in their course design.